the gray and teal smoky eye that you saw in the intro. Also, you might have noticed that I have paired both a light and a dark lip for you just for some variety. To start with my transition color, I am using Combust from the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and I'm putting that in the crease and going up to the brow bone. I am then gonna take Password, which is a, a lighter gray color, and I'm gonna put that in the crease as well, but I'm not gonna go up quite as far as I did with the transition color. I am using the brush that came with the palette to start with, but that ended up being a little too firm for me, so in just a minute I actually switched to a softer Morphe brush. Also, please ignore that light you can see in the back. I did not realize that that was gonna be in frame. It'll be gone in just a moment. Here's where I grabbed the Morphe brush and I use that just to darken the color as well as blend the color out a little bit more. Next, I'm taking that same password color and I'm just using my finger and I'm patting that right onto the outer third to half of my eye. A lot of times I will totally just use my finger. It works really, really well for me. It just helps me to get really, really good pigmentation. Going back with that same password color just to blend everything out. Now I'm going to go in with that transition color again, Combust, and I am just doing it on the kind of outer edges of where the gray is just to make that really soft and diffused and blended really well. A lot of times with these smoky eyes, you just have to kind of keep going back and forth with their lighter and darker colors to blend it out. I am now taking the color Fringe from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. It is a beautiful sparkly teal color. When I held it up in the shot because of my lighting, it looked a little more blue. It definitely is a green teal color and I love it. It is one of my favorites. And again, I'm just using my finger to pat that onto my eye. And as you can see, I'm just applying that to the inner half of my eyelid. I did grab a little detailer brush to make sure I got the very, very, very inner corner of my eyelid. And then I decided to put that on the inner third of my bottom lash line as well. Okay, and next I am taking these two colors from the Morphe 35O palette because I decided I wanted to warm up the colors on my eyes. So I mix those two colors and I am putting that kind of on the very outer edges of where I had blended out the gray up into my brow bone. I didn't quite go all the way into my crease with this. I also decided to bring that combination onto my bottom lash line as well. Next, I'm taking Black Market from the Urban Decay palette again, and I am putting that on the very outer third of my eye just to deepen that gray color a little bit more and to give it a little bit more dimension. I just picked up a brush and decided to blend out the very edges of that just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And 
then I'm just going back with fringe again just to make sure that the transition from black market to fringe is very soft and gradual. So I went right back in the center just to make sure that there were no harsh edges on that as well. Next, I'm taking this gel liner by Marc Jacobs that I got from the Sephora gift for your birthday. And I am putting that on my upper and lower waterline. My eyes always water when I do this. I'm not good at lining my waterline. I also smudged it into my bottom lash line as well. I decided I wanted to go ahead and smudge that in a, not, not smudge it out too much. We still wanted it to look kind of nice, but I got it very, very close to my lash line on the upper lash. And I went all the way in to the inner corner of my eye and I kept it just a very thin line just to deepen it up because I knew I was gonna wear false lashes with a, a thicker band. So that helps to camouflage that. I then took this black color from the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette, and I believe it's called Noir, and I put that in my bottom waterline to keep that gel liner in place, and I kind of smudged out the bottom lash line as well. I also decided I wanted to smudge out and extend that liner with that same noir color. And then I added it into the outer V area just to deepen that crease a little bit more. I went back in with those two Morphe colors just to smoke out that bottom lash line and blow it out and make it really soft and diffused. Next, I took this light pink shimmery color called High from the Naked Smoky Palette and I decided to highlight my brow bone. and I did my inner corners and the very inner third of my bottom lash line. This is the NYX Roll On Shimmer in the color green. And when I use this, instead of rolling it directly onto my eye or wherever I wanna use it, I will just do it on the back of my hand so I don't get a ton of fallout all over my face. And then I'll use my finger or a detailer brush like this to put it where I want it. This just helps to make that teal color really sparkly and really, really pop. And as you can see here, I decided to add it to the inner third of my bottom lash line as well. Now this is the NYX Teal Glitter and I use the Lit Glitter Glue. I love glitter. And this is my first time using it. So I decided just to use it on my bottom lash line instead. I didn't want to get too glitter crazy because I plan on having some glitter looks coming up soon. So I just did it in my bottom lash line on the inner third and it added some really, really great sparkle. I wish the lighting in the camera, you could see it a little bit better, but I, I couldn't zoom in much closer. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is my favorite. It is so, so, so black. And I decided to add these Grand Glamour Lashes by Ilore. Hello. Need 
do me a huge favor? I'm running behind. Could you just make me some eggs and waffles? Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I just had to include that clip because my husband is so wonderful and so helpful and I'm super lucky and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I am very thankful for him. I am now bronzing up my face with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. I am doing that on my cheekbones. I like to do my temple and forehead area. And then sometimes I will do on my jawline and underneath my chin. This is the face palette from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Champagne Glow Collection. And I am taking that center blush color right there called Amaretto. Guys, this is my new favorite blush for the moment. It is so versatile. It, it works for any makeup look that you're trying to do, whether it's a no makeup makeup look or a super glam look. This blush is just perfect for anything you're trying to do. So get your hands on this palette while you still can because once they're all gone, they're gone. This is not gonna be a permanent thing which is so sad. Now I'm gonna mix the two highlighters in the palette, which is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, and I am going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones, and lately I've actually been dragging it down, as you can see, kind of on the apples of my cheek, because that's what Jaclyn Hill does, and so I thought I would give that a try. And I like how that looks, it's just very fresh face and glowy and healthy looking. So I bring that down onto my, the apples of my cheeks a little bit as well. I will use my finger to add it to the tip of my nose and also to my Cupid's bow. This is the Maybelline Blushing Beige Lipstick. This is my first time ever wearing it and I love it. The color is gorgeous. It's a very soft nude, a beigey nude, the, the tiniest hint of like a pink or a peach and it goes on very smooth. I wanted to do a light lip first for those who love nude lips and wanted, since the eyes are so dramatic, if they wanted to soften their look by using a lighter lipstick. But the whole reason I did this look is because of this lipstick here. This is Petite 4 by ColourPop and it is, it is their Ultra Satin Formula. This is my first time actually wearing it, but I have been wanting to use it for so long because the color is just gorgeous and it's intriguing. It's a gray color, but there is like the tiniest hint of like a green or teal to it, kind of. It's hard to explain, but it's very unique and very beautiful in the formula of these Ultra Satins is super, super comfortable. I will say with this shade, it did start to bleed after several hours, which doesn't usually happen with me with this um, line. So next time I wear it, I'll probably put concealer on my lips first or concealer around the edges to keep it from bleeding. Then to tie in the shimmery teal on the eyes, I took that roll on shimmer from NYX and I'm using my finger and I'm patting that onto the center of my bottom and my upper lip. And then I decided to go ahead and sprinkle on some of the teal glitter from NYX as well. And it turned out just gorgeous. I didn't get any up close shots of the lips, but I'm gonna do these lips again and post them on my Instagram because it was just so beautiful and I wish I had gotten an up close picture. So watch my Instagram for that if you're wanting to see how the combo looks up close because it is beautiful. And that is the final look. I love it. I think the colors are beautiful and I really love that lip. This is my first time ever wearing like a gray or like a tealy gray lip. I thought I was gonna be a little bit scared but I actually kinda love it and I can't wait to wear it again. Thanks for watching, love you guys, bye.